Greetings and salutations YouTube, this is Christopher McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. Find us online at alamomusic.com. I've got a cool guitar in my lap today, new from the fellows out at Taylor, all the peeps out in California, is a bass, finally, can I say that? Taylor, finally, thank you, a bass. We have been waiting with bated breath. Some of us are turning blue and we're looking like Smurfs because we have been wanting Taylor to come out with a bass for so long. For those of you who don't know, Taylor used to build an acoustic bass in their lineup and it was a behemoth behemoth of a bass, but it was awesome. The AB1, AB2, AB3, AB4, if you find them in the wild, grab hold and don't let go. But they were massive and they were expensive and eventually they left their lineup never to be replaced until now. So we have the new GS Mini E bass. That's right, it's a GS Mini E bass. So the GS Mini has been a runaway success, there's no doubt. Taylor has made the very best travel guitar on the market, arguably, but it's incredibly popular. So they've taken that popular form factor of the shrunken down Grand Symphony body and slapped four strings on it and called it macaroni. Not quite. There's a few things that they've changed in order to accommodate this, these bass strings and the tension and the sound that we're looking for. So we're going to talk a little bit about that and play through it with my incredible bass guitar skills. So first things first, it's a GS Mini. If you've ever picked up a GS Mini, you know what this is. It's the same scale, it's the same body as a GS Mini. It features Taylor's ES system with the preamp, first seen on the Baby Taylors last year. So it's the same ES pickup system that we've uh, that Taylor came out with a few years ago, which is a fantastic system sitting right behind the saddle here on the bridge. And it has a preamp here on the side with tone, volume controls, and a built-in tuner. Huzzah. Now, it features a solid spruce top with laminate back and sides, sapele, at this time, and the bracing is specific to this model. The scale length is 23 and I believe 7 eighths, something to that effect. Check our website, it's around 23 and a fraction of a scale length, same as a normal GS Mini. Ebony bridge, ebony fingerboard, unbound, with Lexon overlay on the headstock and chrome bass tuners in this particular case. Now, how did they do this? How did they squeeze uh, four strings on here and not have the thing just completely crater on us? Well, there's a few innovations. So first of all, there's still a pinned bridge down here with these larger massive bridge pins in the bridge of this GS Mini bass. If you uh, take a look on uh, Taylor's website or our own, you'll see photos of these bridge pins. It's a new design that's basically a fork design that grabs hold of the uh, ball end of the string under the top rather than anchoring it around onto the bridge plate as normal and it changes how the tension and the breakover angle of the strings come up through this the holes and then over the breakover angle on this saddle. So it's a really, really smart design to deal with the issue of the tension, um, the size of the string, and so forth. The strings themselves have been custom designed between Taylor and Daddario, and they are set built specifically for this guitar. So when you buy this guitar and you need new strings, we have them for you in stock. They are a nylon core with a bronze wrap. It's kind of interesting, so I'm gonna say it again. These are nylon core strings with a bronze wrap over them. And what that means is that you get this great bendability um, and this kind of slinky feel with a warm tone that you would expect from an acoustic bass guitar. It projects really well, and when plugged in, it has a wonderful balanced, low-end, thumpy sound through the ES system. So, what more can be said? You get a nice gig bag with it. You get an ultra portable acoustic bass guitar that has a built-in pickup system so you can take it from couch to stage and back. If you need to do a coffee shop gig with your cohorts and you need a bass guitar, you want something that sounds acoustic and you don't feel like lugging some massive thing that sounds muted and dead anyway with a bad pickup system, not that I'm calling anyone out, then this is an awesome bass guitar for you. So enough with the specs, you know what it is. It plays Plays great. Now let's listen to what it sounds like.
hope you enjoyed our review of Taylor's new GS Mini E bass guitar. We're thrilled to have this finally in our shop. We've been waiting for it for a while, and we hope to get some into many, many hands out there. So if you have any questions on this, go to our website, alamomusic.com, and just click Add to Cart, or <laughs> message us, email us, call us, or come in and try this out yourself. We know that this is gonna find a lot of homes. Maybe some of you guitar players who've been wanting to pick up bass, you finally found the bass guitar for you. As always, I wanna thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.